Hi, my name is Dario Gerace and I'm a PhD student at the University of Technology Sydney and a primary author on the review on the reversal of type 1 diabetes in animal models. This review was primarily motivated by the research conducted within our laboratory which aims to find a definitive cure for people with type 1 diabetes. People with type 1 diabetes manage their hyperglycemia using daily insulin injections However, this doesn't uh, prevent the development of long-term diabetic complications such as retinopathy, nephropathy, neuropathy and various macrovascular disorders. Currently, the only cure for type 1 diabetes is pancreas transplantation or islet transplantation. However, this is hampered by the limited number of donors and the requirement for lifelong immunosuppression. As a result, the need for an alternative therapy is vital and one of the strategies employed to correct type 1 diabetes is the use of gene transfer to generate the production of an artificial beta cell that is capable of secreting insulin in response to fluctuating glucose concentrations that normally occurs in people without type 1 diabetes. The treatment of many diseases using cell and gene therapy is generating significant attention in the type 1 diabetes research community. However, for a cell therapy to enter clinical trials, success and safety must first be shown in an appropriate animal model. Animal models have been utilised in diabetes research for over a century now and have improved our understanding of the pathophysiology of diabetes and allowed for the discovery of useful drugs for the treatment of disease. Currently, the non-obese diabetic mouse is the animal model of choice for the study of type 1 diabetes as it most closely uh, reflects disease development in humans. In this review, we have suggested that gene transfer of beta cell transcription factors and insulin show considerable promise in overcoming the shortcomings of current therapies. Uh, looking to the future, if a cell therapy is to be brought to the clinic, we believe that the targeting of an allogeneic cell source capable of circumventing the autoimmune response for the generation of artificial beta cells shows most promise for the treatment of type 1 diabetes.